please welcome my friend, Vanessa Bell Calloway. <laughs> I'm just so excited you back here in New York with us. I, I just saw you at a dinner that was hosted in your honor. No. Did you have a good time? Before, the, before we get into this, I gotta tell you this. I was telling all my friends and family, I was coming on the show, everybody loves you, Sherry. Oh, they were so excited. I'm back there stealing bugs for people. <laughs> I was threatened. I couldn't come back to L.A. without Sherry Swag. Oh, my gosh. Thank you Everybody so loves you. Yes, but this was such... A, I, I fly in for these dinners. The Brown Girls Dinner, it's the Star... Brown Girls Dinner, And yes. I fly in, you know, just because I can, you know? Yes. And because <laughs> I don't like to miss a good... I don't like to miss a good party. You okay. Because that's what... Star and Jones. this time, it was... I was one of the honorees. Uh, Raquel Odom was also honored for her new yes. position. But this was so amazing. You get all these incredible women like you and Susan Taylor and... Kathy Chenault and just, know. you know, they all come together and it's just such just a great time. Just lifting each other up. And loving on each other, it's a great time. It is, and you know what? And I love what you shared with your audience after about stepping out of your comfort zone. Stepping out of your comfort zone And just never up. knowing what you bring to the table and how people appreciate and love you and how you inspire so many people. Well, I, I tell you, that. you inspire me, and I do like to party with Vanessa Bell Calloway, because <laughs> yeah. Vanessa, it, it, it ain't a party to Vanessa walk in the room, because you can, <laughs> you be getting good and we just have fun, okay? Yeah. Don't tell all my business. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I just, I just, I love you so much. I just want to say congratulations because I remember your daughter Allie when she was a little girl. Yes. Now she's engaged to be married. She's a grown woman. She's a grown woman. Oh, like in the wedding. It's in a few weeks. Are you yes. excited? I am so excited, but I'm so excited for her, her new life, because her fiance and his family, honey, God couldn't have blessed us with a better family. Really? So, oh my God, it's so amazing. And he, look, look at that. Yes. And he is, he's just the God for her. They're, they're uh, Spellhouse, College oh, Sweethearts. So they're College Sweethearts. Look at that, girl. They're College Sweethearts. Look at this. Honey, they, they came to play. They, they designed this own photo shoot for themselves. Really? I had nothing to, I want you to know, I had nothing to do with that, other okay. than pay for the photographer. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, well now I love these photos, but I saw a photo of you in a bathing suit. You were looking amazing over here. At your back. <laughs> when I tell you, when I tell you, Miss Calloway don't play when she comes. Like, and what I love is you embrace your 60s. I and do. Well, by the way, you don't look. You know 60s. what, Sherry? To me. Aging is a privilege. It's not a given. Aging and if I don't go through the 60s, I'll never make the 90s. Okay. I want to be a feisty old woman. You want to be a feisty? Because God can, like, you know, people complain about their birthdays. I'm like, be careful about that, because God can make you whatever age you want to be for a very long time. Okay. You know, there's a lot of people, Michael Jackson will never be 60s. He'll never yes. be my, He'll you know, never be your age. Neither would our sweet wit, uh, Whitney, Whitney Houston. Whitney Houston, exactly. So you got to look at that and go, it is a privilege. It's not a given. Oh, my God. I wear like a badge of honor, honey. And the best way, just age gracefully, be fine, and that's the best revenge, honey. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and, I, and just watching you, you are living your best life now. I'm always seeing you on Instagram. You go on all those trips, you and your husband, with Magic Johnson. Y'all oh, yeah. be selling the high seas on the trips with Magic, always together. And Cookie. And Cookie yeah. Johnson. It's, it's always like the crew. How, how I get an invite to one of those. Well, Sherry. Just, you know what? Irv and Cookie love like-minded people, okay. which I'm sure you I'm are. Like I'm gonna yes. help you with this now. All right. And Irv and Cookie really like couples, so we got to find you a man, child. Okay. We got to make sure that he's a good guy because they don't um, want no drama. Don't want no drama. You know, and you, everybody's got to get along because we've been having a good time, oh, okay. honey. And the few times I've been blessed to go with them is such a blessing, and they are two of the most amazing, generous people on this face of the earth. He gets joy by giving you joy and watching you enjoy the joy he's giving really? you. Really? Oh, no, seriously. Seriously. Oh, wow, I love He that is romantic. amazing. Cookie is amazing. Cookie. So we got to find you a man, child. Can I, can I look at the camera and go, Lenny Kravitz, Trevor Noah, Jason Malone, what you do? <laughs> Not Jason, he getting... Well, hey. Make sure you the people that know Irv, too. Okay, he got to know Lenny Kravitz. Okay, okay. He got to know Trevor Noah. Yeah, I'm going to run that by him the next time I see him and see what okay. he said. Okay, all right. <laughs> Lenny, you want to sell the hot seeds with me? 
But you know, but also, if we can't get the celebrities, your husband, Tony, he's an anesthesiologist, and I ask you all the time when you I do, see you. You do, you do. He don't know no you anesthesiologist. You and Kim, always about, you and Kim. No, her, her, Kim Whitley Sarah asked Kim. too. Kim oh. Whitley be asking too. She married to like a head anesthesiologist. <laughs> you ain't got nobody, I don't know nobody. To, look at your husband, fine as he I know, be. he's so cutie patootie. Can I tell you one thing I, that, I, that I love about you and your husband? Y'all have been married how many years? 35 years. 35 years. <laughs> And I remember this one thing. We're going to get to Pearly Victorious, but I remember you say you knew he was the one. He helped you take out your braids. Take out my braids, girl. <laughs> Quick story for the audience. So we were dating, and I was living in Brooklyn because I was with all my children. Right. And I had to take my braids out. I, he said like this. I was between his legs. We got that bag. You know how we had a bag? Mm -hmm. Take the braids out, throw in the old hair. The rest right. Now, y'all know what I look like when all the braids came <laughs> Y'all know how, you know what I look like. <laughs> Honey, we did our thing, and I went back, got my braids back in, I said, that's my husband. Oh, my goodness, girl. I said, that's my husband. That's your husband. He could care less. And he always tells me, baby, you look pretty with whatever, whatever hair you wear, short hair, long hair, wigs, he's, he don't care. Well, you fine. So. I mean, you know what? <laughs> fine in heart and fine in your spirit is just amazing. <laughs> and this is what I say, and I said this to you upstairs. I want to congratulate you on your return to Broadway. Oh, thank you. You <laughs> are phenomenal and pearly victorious. Oh, my gosh. Like, it, it, how does it feel being on that stage? You know what, Sherry? It is such a blessing. Every night, there's a particular moment when the cast were all together at the end when we're bringing Charlie into the church. Yes. I don't want to give away too much. And I look at all these beautiful faces. I see Heather. I see Billy, I see Kara, I see um, uh, Leslie, and yes. I'm so filled with gratitude. I mean, I get so moved because it's like, I go, thank you, God. Yes. This has been such an incredible blessing. Kenny Leon sent me a text in April to oh, say, hey, I'm doing this and I want you to be a part of it. And I was like, see, and it shows you. It's already written, you just gotta show up. Oh! Oh, that's one of the things you said? It's already written, you just gotta show up. I, had, I always go, who knew? God knew and Kenny knew. That's it. But I found out shortly thereafter, <laughs> and I had every reason to say yes, and I couldn't think of one reason to say no. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. And I love it because you were getting such critical acclaim that the show has been extended through February. February 4th. February 4th. Get your tickets! Like, does it excite you that people are coming to see Ozzie Davis's like uh, play now, and they love it so much? It's amazing that the piece is so timeless, yes. and it's still relevant, and everybody's coming. Everybody's coming out. Girl, you with everybody? Everybody's Nicole coming Parker, out. Yeah. You with Billy Porter? You with Miss Tina Knowles? My girl you, Tina. I mean, you, everybody yeah, coming to see everybody's you. Everybody's coming out, and Cookie came from L.A. with a group of all our girlfriends. Cookie Johnson. Cookie with all Johnson the girls. came with like literally like two weeks ago. And so many people are flying from L.A. and uh, getting theater groups. Stars bringing two theater groups. I know. So it is just so wonderful that it's being received and everybody's having a great time and that is timeless, but the message is being felt and that's heard. That's right. And that's Absolutely. what's important. Well, I have to tell you, Vanessa Bell Calloway, I have always admired you because you walk in your you walk in your beauty, you walk in your blessings, and this is your time right now. And it's your time, sister. Girl. <laughs> and it's our time. It sister. is our it's time. Our time. <laughs> Pearly Victorious on Broadway at the Music Box Theater now through February 4th. We're gonna have a good time. We're gonna have a good time.